vlog must be 16. If you've watched, well, I assume you know that you would have watched my other videos, and therefore you know that I have one. This top in another video. So yes, okay, this one is pre-recorded. Okay, big whoop. But I figured I'll take advantage of the makeup that I have on today and film this haul for you guys. Let me just um put on some. So as I would have mentioned to you guys before, I've been to a good few Christmas pop-up shops and markets, well really like four of them, and so I decided to do a collective haul of them, all the products that I got from those today. So let's just get straight into it. The first pop-up shop that I went to was the Caribbean School of Dancing, Mini Market and Lime, Lime and Mini Market, and I got stuff from two vendors. The first vendor was Spire, and I got these kind of jogger leggings, and that's really nice break in the color. Yeah, so it's really a legging type pants but with a jogger feel because it has like the thick waistband and the tie as well as the cuff at the, the bottom here and one thing I really like about it is that the pocket is really long so when I go to the gym by myself and I like take my phone and I want to have my phone play music with me I don't have to hold it I could put it in my pocket yeah so I have less to walk around with because I could put my um, phone in here and it could be very secure and it has a pocket on the other side as well so I got these from Lisa thanks Lisa and then from Bota Designs I got these earrings oh my gosh I'm in love with these oh, so pretty so simple but so pretty so I really can't wait to wear them So those are the two things that I got from the Caribbean School of Dancing mini market and lime. So I think I really got like two things from each place. So then I went to the Sisters Inspiring Sisters um, pop-up shop and well you guys know what happened with that already. But the one vendor that I did go to purchase from, right, she was there and set up and everything as you guys would have seen a little clip in my video. So I got the Mango Papaya Paradise with the body scrub. This is a texture shot. I found this is really nice. It smells so nice. Like it could like if you're not into like very sweet scents, then this may not be the scrub for you. It is kind of sweet even for me, but I think I can handle it. So this uses Himalayan pink salt, shea butter, papaya seed oil, sweet almond oil in here. So yeah, so I'm excited to try this out. I've been getting into scrubs a lot lately this year. So this is just another scrub to add to my collection. And the next one that I went to was Deck the Halls TT. From there I got two, I bought from two vendors. One was Deck Your Stockings, which I assume is just the people who put together the whole thing they had like a little table of stocking stuffers so I got this bamboo toothbrush that I would love to open but it's okay I don't really know why I bought this because I literally just bought like I just opened a new toothbrush it's just a bamboo toothbrush so I guess I'll be using that sometime in the future maybe I could put that in my toiletries bag and then from the designer Kittanelli, I got two pieces. First, I got this off the shoulder, cold shoulder top that ties in the back in this nice turquoisey color. So I'm excited to get that, well, to wear it because I have it already. And then I got this lovely bright red long flare pants. Like, oh my gosh, look at how bright it is, and it has pockets. Hello. So let me see, like this is so nice and airy and flary. Like I can't wait to wear this. Oh, so pretty. I almost wore it today though, <laughs> to go for the brunch that you guys would have seen on day 14. But whatever. And then on the same day as Deck the Halls TT, I went to the Fashion Arc. Oh, I heard people pronounce it Fashion Arch. I really know. In the Grunlos Collective. And I bought from... Oh, I missed out 
one thing. Oh, that's where that has been. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for my <laughs> lip balm for the longest while. Anyway, one more thing from the Dykely Halls um, pop-up shop. There was this girl selling these calligraphy plates. She actually went to Bishop, so she's a hilarious masikarine calligraphy so she was selling like these ornaments that you could label well she would label it obviously with her lovely calligraphy handwriting so i got one that you know was painted in this kind of goldy coppery color she just wrote the family name on it so i'm gonna put this on the tree right when i went to the fashion arc pop-up i bought from two vendors one is that real bad and first of all let's talk about their packaging like they put it in this thing that you would usually get like your caesar salad in <laughs> and they put their logo on it so i thought that was really cool and i bought two jerseys from them the first one is this pink tie-dye jersey that again says that real bad so it's pink tie-dye and then in the corner it has the that real bad logo and then this other jersey oh my gosh it's another like half tie-dye jersey so i'm gonna probably like full um was it tied up but you guys it says stay less like come on stay less my friends and i this is like <laughs> i might depending on how i feel i might actually cut this into a crop top because when we first saw it i thought it was a crop top and i was like it called my name but it's not cropped so i may or may not cut it into a crop or i'll just wear it tied up but dial bad so we go over here and then from this jeweler coco caribi designs i got a pair of earrings and oh so pretty so these are the earrings so simple and dainty I can't, it's not gold filled and I don't think it's gold plated. She mentioned something about the Brazilian method of gold plating, I think. You guys already don't remember, but. And then, wow, well, I've gone to the end already. Then I went to the upmarket. I finally made it to the upmarket. I actually purchased from three vendors there. The first one I bought from was Avier. And I been meaning to purchase from this girl since like Carrie Festa but I just didn't I don't know why so I finally bought one of her body oils and I got it in passion flower and berries you guys it smells so nice it smells so sweet she has a whole bunch of different actually it doesn't smell so sweet it smells sweet but like a nice sweet like nice so this is a body oil and apparently I'm getting into body oil so maybe it's just me getting into all that our local vendors have to offer because a lot of them do have body oils and body scrubs but using all the oils etc so whatever but I got that I'm excited to use that it smells so good then from a vendor called Accent Home I got this light up box thing um, I've actually been wanting one of these for the longest but I just never got it probably because I figured it would be just something else that I'll have to clean and well, I mean it still is something else that I have to clean when it gets dusty but whatever so it's one of those boxes I have to put batteries in it I don't know if I have batteries and then it comes with the letters so that you could just slide it in and you could make your own messages just like how it has it on the box so yeah and oh my gosh you could actually like hang it up but i'll probably just place it on something in my room and then the last thing i got from the upmarket was from spirits of Nyad. if you guys watched my gift suggestions video which i will link right here and down below i told you that i wanted to get a few more pieces from her this christmas season so i already i literally put, went and i tried them on and i just told her to cut off the tag because i was buying it so i got this i think she calls this her fluid bracelet so it's just gold and it's like really like it's silky obviously it can't be like silky but that's how i feel to describe it and then i also got this um, ring so her jewelry is gold filled jewelry so I got those two pieces and then this is one that the one that I had from before and well I have another ring and the um, chain and the choker actually 
I did want to get another one of her chains, but the bracelet caught me off guard. So that's what I got. So if anybody wants to get me jewelry, just know that I am a gold person. Right, so that is all that I have gotten so far from these pop-up shops and markets. I may or may not go back to the up markets. I did not carry you guys to that one in a vlog just because um, I was kind of rushing through the up market. So I left the camera in the car, but yeah, that's what I got from the up markets this year, this season. Hope you guys enjoyed it and liked some of the things that you found in here. I'll just put all the Instagram names and the information down below so that you can check them out that's it for today's video i'll see you guys tomorrow in vlogmas day 17 make sure to like my videos engage under uh, in the comment box we love to see engagement i love to see engagement and engage with you guys so continue doing that subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you will be notified for each video that i post and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye